Ciao ragazzi, sono Antonio here for Inter Worldwide. Woo! The news, the good news has finally landed properly that Inter and Cagliari have come to an agreement for Nicola Barella. Finally, at long last, we can breathe a little easier knowing that we are going to tie this one down. So, a little bit loud on that side, we'll go back here. So, first of all, thank you to everyone who sent in some really, really kind messages yesterday uh, on my date of birth. That was definitely the highlight of the day. And, you know, the highlights keep coming today and we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna need a couple to nurse this hangover, but Barella is definitely the best news that we could have asked for. Um, the fact that we're going to tie this one down as soon as we've moved into training camp, I'm very, very happy about that. But the Barella announcement officially will come shortly, no doubt, don't worry, I'll bring you that. But what I want to talk about just for this purpose of this video is the fact that Mauro Icardi and Raja Nangolan were called up to report in Lugano, Lugano but apparently they're not in Antonio Conte's plans. So whether or not they're going to be training separately or whether or not they're going to be just not included whatsoever, whether or not it's all hype and there's still another twist in the saga or there's still another twist, maybe they're actually staying put. Um, you never know. Maybe Marotta has other plans. Maybe it's a tactic to defer the media and defer our rivals, but at this point, it looks like their minds are made up. It looks like Conte, there's absolutely no way that Mauro Icardi and Nainggolan are going to be in the plans. But, you know, it's going to disappoint a lot of people. Let us know in the comments what you think. To echo the thoughts of some of the Inter Worldwide people, you know, I think Samir's pretty happy that he's leaving. I'm not, I think he said that, you know, Samir thinks that his work ethic and his work rate isn't at the stage that we should be at, which is fair enough, I would have to agree. He needs to up his work rate big time, Raja Nangolan, and it looks like that he was given a chance on some Luciano Spalletti, and now that there's not a manager there that can, you know, really have his back and, you know, kind of cushion him a little bit, Conte's a different, a different ball game. So, a few people are saying that it can't be tactical because, you know, he fits that 3-5-2 box-to-box midfielder role well when he's got two other good complementing midfielders next to him. But, yeah, once again, it looks like Conte and Marotta's mind is made up. Uh, who's, who else commented? Who was um, some other thoughts? Oh, our good friend Raul, Uncle Shadma, he shares my sentiments. It's that, you know, we got to trust Conte and we need to trust Marotta. It's just so disheartening to only get one year of the ninja. Only one year. I still think he's got more to offer. I still think he can do more. Um, we saw photos of Mauro Icardi at training. So he's definitely at, uh, at Lugardo training. But yeah, it's, he's still, the, the deal is looking to happen. Whether it's a straight sale to Fun Lukaku, whether the Insigne rumors of a swap are true, it's Mauro doesn't look like he's sticking around and it looks like we're going to have a replacement coming in shortly. Anyway, plenty of official announcements uh, still to come. I don't think our Mercato's anywhere near done. Stay tuned to the news and um, speak soon. Forza Inter. Ciao.